Do you owe back taxes? If so, there may be an option available that will help you settle with the IRS for a lesser amount. Watch my next show on Offering Compromises to learn more. Welcome to this episode of Accounting and Tax Tips, Smart Strategies for Small Business Success with Certified Public Accountant, Tina Mo. I thought I'd start out today with an IRS training video. Well, maybe not. Let's go with plan B. An offering compromise could present another option for you to resolve your tax debt for less than the full amount you owe. It can't be a legitimate option if you can't pay your tax liability in full or if doing so creates a true economic hardship. The IRS will consider your particular facts and circumstances, such as your ability to pay, your income and expenses, and your equity that you have in any assets. The IRS generally approves an offer and compromise when the amount offered represents the most they can expect to collect within a reasonable period of time. What exactly is a reasonable amount of time, you ask? Well, if you find the answer to that question, uh, please let me know because I'm still looking for the answer. Be sure to explore all other payment options before submitting an offer and compromise because this option, um, it's, it's not for everyone. And if you decide to hire a tax professional to help you file an offer, be sure to check his or her qualifications. Paying a company thousands of dollars up front does not guarantee an acceptance of an offer and compromise. The first step is to make sure you're eligible for this option by making sure you're current with all tax filings and with your current year tax payment requirements. And keep in mind that you're not eligible for an offer and compromise if you're actively involved in bankruptcy proceedings. Uh, the second step is to submit your offer along with the $150 application fee. You can find step-by-step -step instructions in all the forms for submission in the Offering Compromise Booklet, Form 656B. The third step is to select a payment option, either a lump sum cash uh, or periodic payment option. And if you meet the low income certification guidelines, you don't have to send the application fee or an initial payment, and you won't need to make uh, monthly installments during the uh, evaluation of your offer. Um, here are a few other facts you should know. While your offer is being considered, um, collection activities are suspended and the legal assessment and collection period is extended. This has to do with statute limitations. Um, however, you must make all required payments associated with your offer and your, your offer is automatically accepted if the IRS does not make uh, a determination within two years of the IRS receipt date of your offer. And one last note. If your offer is rejected, you may file an appeal within 30 days using Form 13711, Appeal of Offering Compromise. For more information on this topic, please visit my website at www.actservices-inc.com. Thank you for watching this episode of Accounting and Tax Tips with Tina Mo. For more great information, visit Tina's website at www.actservices-inc.com. Com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.